Soliloquy. I stand before you, dear readers, as author of a wonderful play. I have imagined a play you will unfortunately not see. With heavy heart, I must admit, the stage will be empty. No actors will perform my dramatic lines, sing stirring lyrics to gladden your heart. No, there are no words written down on actors' scripts, no recordings of songs sung or played for your ears. If there is a muse that has guided me in the past, he is not present, not accounted for, gone in a swirl of dust on the theater floor, a moat in the brilliance of spotlights falling on the empty piano bench. Yes, I must close my notebook, filled with papers as blank as the marquee over the front doors, and gather pencil stubs worn down with scribbling in the margins, leave the magic place where words fly from pages, dance before the footlights with precise abandon. No longer is there a reason to pretend there is hope. I lock the stage door, turn out the lights in the dressing rooms, and walk along dark streets on my way home. Wonderful.